Hey, if you're a Microtik user, you know the struggle. Most of these routers onboard disk storage is tiny. That means there is no space for storing large files and no space for setting up a personal media server on your router. For a long time, if your device didn't have a USB port, you were stuck. But now, Microtik has a powerful solution, the ROSE package. In the previous video, I showed you how to set up a personal media server on your micro Microtik router. Now, we're taking it a step further. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install ROSE package on your router and use its SMB feature to mount a Windows shared folder from your file server directly to your Microtik router. And this lets us instantly and massively expand our router's storage capacity for any use case, all without any physical hardware upgrades. If you find this video helpful, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Let's dive in. So here you can see I have a Microtik router inside my home network and the model is HAP AX Lite. And like most of Microtik routers, it doesn't have enough disk storage. You can see the storage size is just 128 megabytes. So it isn't enough for me. Maybe I need to store some backups from other systems on this router or maybe I just need to set up a media server for my family and they need to stream some movies on the home's smart TV from my media server. But the problem is this specific router doesn't have USB interface so I can't connect a USB disk to this router and increase its capacity. So what should we do now? Microtik has uh, a new package which is called ROSE. Let me open its documentation here. You can see uh, the name is ROSE Storage and ROSE stands for Router OS Enterprise. This package adds some data center functionality to Router OS. For example, disk monitoring, improved formatting, RAID, R-Sync, ISCSI, as some other stuff here. But it just supported on these CPU architectures, ARM, ARM64 and x86 and also Tile. Here in my Winbox, you can see in system and then resources. And my CPU architecture is ARM. The board name is HAP AX Lite. And you can see my HDD size is only 128 megabytes. Here in the files menu, you can see it is empty. So we need to install a ROSE package on this router and connect it to a shared directory in the network. Let's get back here to the documentation. You can see some documentation about uh, different functionalities on this package, uh, but uh, here we, we are just covering SMB, uh, which is a server message block. It is a popular file sharing protocol, which is completely supported by Windows systems. And with this ROSE package, Microtik completely supports SMB protocol and it can connect to a Windows shared directory, for example, to my file server. And it can use that disk space too. And it can write on the disk and it can read from it based on the permission you have provided in the Windows share. Okay, so uh, we can resolve this problem with this interesting package. First of all, we need to install the package on the router here in the Winbox, you can see from the system and then packages, I don't have it yet. So I need to download and install it first. And my router OS version is 7.20.2. So I need to download this package for my specific version. Let's open a Microtik website here and head to software tab under the download archive. I need to find my specific um, version under ARM CPU. I need to download this all packages for ARM CPU. Let's uh, extract this uh, zip directory here. And from the directory, I need to drag and drop ROSE storage package to my Winbox. Now, wait for uploading. And now I need to reboot my router. Wait for a few seconds and then we can proceed. So the router is rebooted and here in system and then packages, I can see uh, here the ROSE storage and now I can easily connect this Microtik router to a Windows share uh, and the command is uh, very easy and straightforward here you can see the command and you can easily copy and paste it and change the IP address and share name here and there are some uh, properties which is needed here the IP address of the device which holds the share folder uh, or Windows password, Windows username and directory name. So here I have a share directory on this machine 
uh, it is a directory which holds some media the directory name is silo and you can see my uh, windows ip address is 88 uh, that's 254 so uh, let's do it here in microtech terminal first i need to get a report so disk and then print and there is nothing here so uh, let's add it disk and then add I need to specify the type. So the type is SMB. The next property is SMB address. So SMB dash address is 192.168.88.254. And uh, the next one is SMB share name. I mean the directory here. The directory here is silo. Okay, so uh, SMB dash uh, share name is silo. And the next one is SMB user. SMB dash user is Romtin, and the password is SMB dash password is one. Let's hit enter, and it's done. And now I can get the report again, and you can see the SMB share here. If I open the file here, you can see uh, the silo directory and the uh, size of the files inside that that directory. I uh, still have 128 megabytes on my router, but the file size are uh, way more larger. For example, this one is about one gigabyte. This one again, more than one gigabyte. So we successfully connected our router to a shared directory on our file server inside our network. Let's test it. But first, let me show you here in IP and then media, you can see it dynamically created a media server on this router, uh, which holds the SMB files here, this directory silo here. And now I can connect to it from another system. So on my mobile, which is connected to this uh, Microtix Wi-Fi, uh, I need to open VLC. And in the browse tab, I can see the Microtix a media server here and for example open this one this is one of the episodes of this series on the share directory let's play it and based on the network speed you can see the stream will start and it's working very well and there you have it we successfully installed the rose package and configured the smb mount effectively upgrading our microtix storage capacity now, as you saw, we can now use the uh, shared disk space to host some media files and enable a DLNA media server, or maybe you just want to download some files directly on your Microtik itself. Did you ever try a different feature of this ROSE package, for example, RAID or ISCSI? Let me know in the comments below if you're interested into a video covering those features too. So if this video helped you to uh, unlock extra storage on your Microtik router, please hit that like button and subscribe for more advanced Microtik and networking deep dives. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.